You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. As we head into summer, our nation's long-term care facilities are still fighting COVID-19. Residents and staff are still dying. The last several segments of CNA Heroes have featured CNAs who have given the ultimate, their lives taking care of the frail and elderly during this pandemic. CNA TV will continue to feature these brave men and women who continue to fight for those they care for and they shall not be forgotten. However, this week's CNA hero predates the COVID pandemic and he truly deserves the honor. James Henry Cooper Robertson was a big guy. He towered over the elderly residents he cared for at an assisted living and memory care center in Jackson, Michigan, where he worked as a CNA. The only thing larger than a stature was his big heart and kind soul and always being able to put a smile on the residents' faces as he cared for them, says his mother, Katrina Cooper Oliver. Before graduating from Jackson High School in 2012, James took classes at the Jackson Area Career Center under its Certified Nursing Assistant Program, learning how to properly care for the elderly. He became a CNA and he used what he learned alongside his mother to take care of his grandmother until she died in late 2013 at the age of 75. His grandmother called him Pumpkin and loved him so very much as he took excellent care of her. James's mother, Katrina Cooper Oliver states, he was my only child and a good boy. Residents loved him. He always made them smile and he could get things out of them that no other nurse could. They just always liked him more. James was a man of faith, worshiping God and helping where he could at the first evangelist ministries in Jackson. Tragically, in the early morning hours of March 6th, James Henry Cooper Robertson, only 25 years old, was found shot and unresponsive outside a business in Jackson. He was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at Henry Ford Allegiance Health, and his death is ruled a homicide by the Jackson Police Department, which is investigating. Mike McElroy, owner of Highland Assisted Living and Memory Care said, it was a bad day for everyone at Highland when he was taken from this world. He was a good kid, loved by all, and what happened to him was a needless, senseless act. It was hard to believe this could happen to him, to someone who was so kind. In a time when we need CNA so desperately to take care of our nation's frail and elderly, a compassionate and dedicated young CNA was gunned down and taken from so many people who depended on him. James Henry Cooper Robertson is survived by his mother, a sister, a brother, aunts, uncles, many cousins, nieces, nephews, and friends, as well as residents who loved him dearly. James, your loving soul and compassionate work will long be remembered. It is apparent that you touched many lives in your short time here. Everyone, now please join me in honoring the work and the life of James Henry Cooper Robertson, CNA hero.